Okay, back from the shed. Um, okay, so as we said before, we have the hard drive bay. Um, we have my hard drive. It's a, not as big as I would have liked, but it's only 40 gig, but it's the only one I had laying around handy. Um, but there again, 40 gig was on the original PlayStations. I think goes in with the top of the hard drive facing up, bottom facing down, and it goes in there. But as you can see, it's very loose. So with this in mind, I've also collected my little hard drive caddy from my old, completely dead, yellow light of death, first generation 40 gig. Now I thought I was going to be clever here, and use it but when you go to put this in although it fits this bit stops it so back to the shed and a bit of hacksawing later a return right why I'm doing this is I've got one of these large flat chisels bolster maybe if you will um, put it in there tap it over there like that so and I'm going to put this in the other side and vice it in the vice and so now I've got this bent in now um, it's all quite flat and level to the underside it should fit in nicely <laughs> if you don't do it just hammer chisel and a pair of pliers and you put that there. <laughs> That's the kind of tools you need to do um, electronics. Um, right, in there somewhere. You can see that little bump at the bottom there. That's going to stop your hard drive going in nicely, but you can get around it. Got my hard drive in the caddy. When you do this, you have to make sure the hard drive does not touch anywhere underneath, which you can see it doesn't. It's perfectly good. Cool. And then, simple matter of slot it in. It won't go any further in than it needs to. And what I've done is I've used the tiny little clip used to get with the old PlayStations. Obviously when mine broke I kept as many bits as possible. I'm going to use this as a makeshift brace on there. Well, can't do this one handed. And then I'm going to use one of the screws we have a hard drive to put in that little hole there. I'll set you'll see it done in a minute. Then I've got it done. This is the little clip I've done here. Um, if you're going to use that clip, you're going to have to make the hole slightly bigger to fit one of the hard drive screws in. So the hard drive is held in by three screws to the cradle, and for one that didn't want to go in, it's been used there. It's not blue, but it will do. Okay, replace the top on this. Can only go in one way. And now, in a minute, we're going to plug it in and see if it goes bang. Remember, it's brand new, we've only just opened this.